your time today. Is Liz Truss good for your party's fortunes in Scotland? And if you're going to say yes, please tell me why. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't fully hear the question. Sorry. Oh, forgive me. Um, how is Liz Truss, your new prime minister, your new party leader, how is she going to improve the fortunes of the Scottish Conservative Party? What would you like her to do? Well, first of all, I want to offer my congratulations to her. It's clear that she won a majority and will be bringing the party back together. And I think the first thing that she's going to be looking at doing is working with the First Minister, Nicola Sturgeon, to find ways where we can work together on this cost of living crisis, which is a huge problem. And, and in terms of uh, how uh, you tackle uh, the Scottish nationalists and, and Liz Truss, I mean, do you carry on ignoring her, as, as Liz Truss indicated? Uh, Liz Truss is, is perfectly aware what it's like to be a, a statesman, a stateswoman, and she will understand the need to engage with Nicola Sturgeon, and I have every confidence that she'll do that. Um, she clearly has been able to do it in the previous portfolios that she's held with, with other leaders of other nations, and I'm clear that she'll do it with Nicola Sturgeon. And I hope that Nicola Sturgeon has the good grace to reach out to Liz Truss and try and work with her, rather than trying to find ways of dividing the nation, which frankly Why? is not in anyone's benefit. Why on earth would she do that when she's been told she's going to be ignored by the new leader of the Conservative Party and now the Prime Minister? I, I, I don't think Liz Truss will ever ignore Nicola Sturgeon. You saw that they had a perfectly honest conversation uh, when they met, and I think that will continue. And I look forward to welcoming Liz Truss up Scotland to meet with Nicola Sturgeon and to meet with her MSPs who will be working hard for the Conservative cause north of the border and the Union, of course.